What's going on, YouTube? This is Parker Lad 88 coming at you with another video. Today, I am joined by Neo Dark Guy and Shadowbox 45. And today, we are bringing you what our ban list predictions are. So, I'm going to go ahead and start with my ban. The first card I have banned is Creature Swap. Now, I know there are tons of shots. I know there are tons of more broken cards in Creature Swap, but this this is personal bias right here. That's like me putting like Necro Valley on the list, bro. Necro Valley on your list? No. But they did steal my parents. <laughs> and I can't get them back because of Necro Valley's <laughs> Fucking Necro Valley, bro. <laughs> You'll get them one day. Yeah, one day. One day. Your parents will be avenged. Okay, so on to others. One legitimate card I want Wind Up Hunter to be banned. And the reason why is I want it in my come back. We'll come back to that later. No, anyway. I'm not toning out. I'm remembering what I was. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so Raigeki. Raigeki is another legitimate card that I would actually like to see going back to the band. Reason being that it just facilitates OTKs way too easily, and it's a free out to anything that your opponent can do. If your opponent has like a Quasar on the field, or like a Felgrand Knight, or like uh, if your opponent has a Telenova Alpha set or something like that, you can pretty much bait it out for free because otherwise they're going to lose their field. And I just don't feel like cards that give you free outs like that should just be in the game anyway. So I have Raigeki. And then the last card I have banned is Loyal Magical Library. I actually had some consultation on that one from, you know, Dark Guy. Um, you know, the card would be fine if they just erot it, but they're not going to erot it, so... Yeah. And then, because some people are using it in um, in ignites, yeah, yeah. but more specifically, it's you know it's for chicken race. All right. Anyway, so that's what my ban list is. So we got creature swap, wind up hunter, Raigeki, and one match ladder. So on that, I'm going to let my two associates take it away. Uh, I just want you guys. Uh... No, I mean you're pretty much covered everything that needs to get hit uh, in this ban list. I think it'd be solid. I can't think of anything else that needs to get banned. Unless, like, Jen would pop up on the list, release her rituals. Because mm -hmm. that's basically the Vanny's Infinite problem all over again, mm -hmm. but just for ritual monsters. And they're coming out with more ritual decks, so it's not like the problem will go away if you just leave it there and just hit Nikola. Because then you've got Sybils and on Heretic Red Eyes that can also <coughs> on the card. So I think that card needs to get banned or limited. That's just me. Um, the only two cards, I mean, a little magical library, obviously, but I think Vanity's Envy, this is another card that we need to do. Uh, just because we have Lose One Turn now, and we have a couple other Floodgates in the game, and they always seem to do with this with uh, Floodgates like Vanity's Envy, because they need to do with Roll Oppression and out of Vanity's Envy. Alright, so moving into ones. The first one I have up is Chair. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Chair is pretty busted. Um, Star Star so <laughs> Starseer, so, but that, lazy, that lazy boy. Yep. I mean, being able to just get like a free draw, but it's essentially like an upstart that you get a free monster for. You can go for a seed plays for and get yourself out of stuff. It's really retarded in Shadals, which is half of why Shadals have been doing as well as they have been in the uh, the last format. But even if it wasn't in uh, Shadals, like it's been ran in Talonite, so not as good, but still, just the mm -hmm. fact that it gives you a free body and a free draw, that card kind of needs to go. Uh, next up, I have Construct. Construct is... I, I don't want to see Construct get hit just for, you know, personal bias reasons, and I'm I'm skeptical as to whether it will actually get hit as a result of the uh, result from Nats. Uh, yes. Nats. Yes, from our, uh, our Nats. Uh, I don't think it is, but it probably should get hit just because, you know, it's a free foolish and a deck full of foolish, it's a caster, it's a theater, it does a lot. Um, also... I also think that uh, Tree Bear also needs to be hit for pretty kind of the same reason. It does a lot for the deck, but kind of in the wrong, kind of a, kind of in a different way. The fact that it lets you tune the entire field of where you let you use your Call of Haunted, your Fiendish Chains, your Factor Altairs. Altairs, and stuff like that, I think is pretty nutty. And the fact that on top of all of that, it allows you to take hand advantage away from your opponent just because it's like too much of a card to stay at. Uh, stay at free. That being said, if that does happen, I fear that people might like, not play Tom anymore because things won't be like you know pissy. Shit. I... <laughs> well, you're you're a deck loyalist, so <laughs> no, I'm you're not. Like, as soon as Duel's Alliance came out, Pujans was gone. <laughs> yeah, I do, but I don't play them like that anymore. Yeah, that's true. Um, next up, I have Zen Mahdi. I would love to see Zen Mahdi come back. Windows haven't done anything in forever, and I feel with Hunter being banned, like I said before, it'd be perfectly great for like to see Windows, you know, doing at least a little bit of something. I don't know if it really make much of an impact in the meta, but 
I just I think this wind up deserved his end mighty bag, at least at one. And with Hunter being gone, I think that's perfectly fine. Next up I have Seer. Seer is the only because, because first of all, because burning a disc one match, they're gonna get hit. I don't know what they're gonna get hit with, but I feel like the only card in that deck that needs to be hit is Sir. Sir over Wrath, because as soon as you have one burning abyss monster in the grave, like Sir just becomes nutty because it just gives you that recyclability power and that that combined with Dante and the fact that every time you use the Dante you can get back something from your graveyard every single time. I think those two together is what makes Dante so 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 broken. So sort of one deck I think would be completely fine. I still think people would play it, I still think it would be competitive, it wouldn't be you know they wouldn't have the, the super recyclability. Um the next card I have up is a uh, Unicorn. Uh, from Necroz. So, <laughs> Necroz didn't win that. How many places did they actually get in that? Um, um, and top, top, eight, top 8 was, um, three. It was 3. It was and 3, then 3 but it was a three, three. And then in okay. top 64, they got like 35 or 34? Yeah, they got 35. Okay. <laughs> they were the majority. So, yeah. So, Necroz had a really good showing, even though when it came down to like top 8, they didn't. Well, they got a, a decent amount of one. Um, but yeah, I think it's a general consensus that Unicorn would would severely hinder the speed of the deck, consistency of the deck. What do you guys think? This consistency is, it's not going to hit the speed because it gets a card from out the grave back to the hand. And the only way that's going to hit consistency is like you only have like one flighter scope into um, pure light play. Mm -hmm. So, well not pure light, um, yeah, what, what's the synchro card? Yeah, pure light? Yeah, pure, yeah. Rain, no, rainbow light. Yeah, rainbow light. Oh well, anyway. Uh, point being, so, yeah, I think that's the general consensus as far as the hit that should be done to Necroz. You could take away the Trish, which I would love to see Trish go away. I don't think Trish should have even conceptualized the way that it was. Um, but I think hitting that as opposed to hitting Kaleidomir or something like that would probably be the hit to do. Um, so that is my, uh, the things I think should go to one. So once again, you got Chair, Construct, Trevere, uh, Zen Mighty Sir, and, uh, Unicorn. So, shut up. Um, yep, yeah, um, basically, uh, the rest of the list, I'm just gonna kind of refer you to my channel video, uh, because I did, I have a bunch of different things that I'm sure I'm gonna forget, but I'll just touch on a couple of things, um, I think Institution is going to one, uh, because maybe it is coming out, and I don't think that Konami can allow Star Service and Noden and Institution to be a three. I don't think the Star Service are gonna get hit, because I don't think they made it. A big enough impact in the meta, but I think that Institution will go to one. Um, on the Construct note, yes, Construct will go to one. I think Rota will go to one. I don't think any Satoma Knights will get hit. I think Rota will go to one because it hinders that deck, it slows down Necros, and they're searching with their different warrior monsters, and it also is a little tap on Ignite before it gets crazy. Instead of Sir, I think Graph is going to go to one because Graph is like a searcher for the deck. Uh, it's it searches anything straight to the field, and it makes the deck a lot faster than it should be. Sir gets things from the grave, but you have to initially open up with them or mill them with Dante. So I think having five searchers in the deck is way too much. Or well, really seven or eight, but okay. Um, Unicorn, I agree with that. And I think actually I'm making an argument for tribe infecting virus to come off the map. Tribe Infecting Virus really isn't that good anymore, it's a normal summon monster, it's not going to make Morel busted, and on top of that, I, I just think it's not as good of a card as it used to be, and also I think Dark Condition of Chaos is going to that list, because Bubbles aren't going to do anything to finish himself. Um, to touch on a Demok thing, I don't think Demok's going to come off the list, because we haven't got the errata over in the States yet, so I don't think it's going to come off the list, and I think it's going to help um, Ignite, I mean not Ignite, Inferno is more than it's going to help Spellbooks. Um, okay. what else? Um, I agree with the road of the one. Uh, as a, um, Telenite player, I end up luffing that nine times out of ten. And it saves me, like, from my traps for, because that usually ends up taking the MST. And if it doesn't, I still have a play by flipping it anyway. It's, like, insanely good. Um, for all the other stuff that's limited, and basically, <laughs> I have the same thing that Carpal had had. Also, on mm -hmm. the note of Construct, I can see Construct staying at 3 if they hit El Shadal Fusion. Because El Shadal mm -hmm. Fusion is just the nuts. The fact that you can get it back and reset it the same turn and activate it on your opponent's turn, um, that may get the axe instead of Construct. But I'd much rather see Construct get hit, because I think um, 
El Shadal Fusion is a like more creative card to play with as opposed to Contra. But that's just me. Okay, semis. semis. Yep. Semis. Alright, so to semis, the first one I have actually first mm-hmm. the only thing I wanna say is Rota, because both these guys actually mentioned Rota going to one. I actually have Rota on my going to two list. Um I can't actually remember what my reasoning behind that was. Because you said you didn't think that it's gonna go to thirty one. Oh yeah, I don't think it's gonna go like I don't think it's gonna go straight from three back to one so quickly. I think that Konami is going to try it out at two, see what happens, and then go from there. Because with all of these possible hits to Necroz, um it might not be it might not be as bad and I guess I'll probably just leave it at that. Yeah. I just don't think they're gonna hit it straight to one. Um, for other things I have, um, I think Compulse can come back to two. Compulse hasn't really done anything nothing. since. I don't know. Compulse hasn't done anything in like the longest time. So I think giving us some traps back because like the OSG, they've got Torn and three, they've got Bottomless at two, Judgment, all that kind of stuff. Compulse we at need three. Compulse at three. We need, we need some traps down here, and I think Compulse is a good candidate to come back. And just the added utility you get from like bouncing your own monsters or whatever, I think it's really hard to be better. I think it's okay to try it too. Uh, moving on, I got Manju and Senju, both two. I don't think that every Ritual deck should should suffer just because Necros are the okay, best. Plus, if they're all, if, what they say, if, if Necros are getting hit, then I don't think that, like, you know, I think it'll all collectively make the deck more fair, I guess. Also, I'm keeping personal bias on the board of the red in July. Um, other things, uh, Torrent, I think, can come back to, um, kind of like how I said for Rota going to one. I don't think they're going to go from Torrent straight from one to three. Oh, no. Oh, hell no. From Mirror Force? Fuck no. Hell no. <laughs> so, there you go. And see, for Mirror Force, what they did was they said one, two, three. And I think that for Torrent, it'll probably fall the same down. So I have one in that way. And then, personal request, and I also think that's very possible. I think it'd be okay if we tried to beam out the two. Dragon Ravine coming out the two, like your communities, they haven't done anything in forever. Dragon Rulers are gone. I still don't think that um, Ravine is going to do anything in two. I don't, I don't know what else you could possibly put it with. I'm not really into like the meta and stuff that like what's going on like these guys are. Maybe they can elaborate on it a little bit more. But either way, those are my semis. Impulse, Ravine, Manju, Senju, Rhoda, and Torrent. Um, I wouldn't mind Ravine coming back too because the good is just fucking lose the rank of zero. Anything like F <laughs> um, um, the Monster Gate. Um, because I really think they're gonna try to push Infernoids. And Monster Gate at two is really gonna help that deck. I think that would help out the deck a lot. Um, and when we eventually get Decatron, and if we ever get the Erotic Demon, um, I think that would be really helpful towards that deck. Because the deck has potential, it's just that it gets blown out really easy by like other decks in bad hands. And game two. And game two. Alright, um, on my list I had Compulse, Bottomless, and Book of Moon. Uh, one of those cards coming to two, uh, because they all are kind of the same. Book of Moon is the most powerful out of the three, and Compulse is the weakest out of the three. So, can I see Compulse coming to two? Yes, and I think it should. Um, on the Dragon Review note, I actually think that card's coming to three, because it's it doesn't do anything. The only thing that it does, the only thing that it does is when Dragon Knights come out, or well, Dragon Draco Slayers, Draco Slayers in the TCG. Um, they will help them out a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Uh, I think after um, I think after Unicorn gets hit, I don't think Manju and Senju need to be hit at all, to be honest with you. I think it does enough to the deck where you only have one Unicorn, and if that something happens to that, you lose. Or not lose, but it slows you down a lot. Torn, I don't see coming to two if Compulse comes to two. On two threes. Okay, so I only have two. I've got Sinister Serpent and DSF, Dark Strike Fighter. Sinister Serpent, it didn't do anything this format being at one. Oh, yes. Yeah. So they can put it back to two, they can put it back to three. I think it's probably going to go the path of, what was that? Was it Tsukiyomi? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Tsukiyomi, Magician, uh, Magician of Fave, uh, Goyo Guardian. It can go that route, but honestly, I think it goes straight back to three. I don't think Sinister Serpent's going to do anything with the way that's been reworded. And then DSF, DSF got the errata. It's perfectly fair. Uh, something argues actually like severely nerfed. 
Um, oh yeah, they knew the shit out of that card. Yeah, so DSF, they can come back to 3. Sister Sword came back to 3, and that's pretty much all I have for stuff going back to 3. I say bring Chase Shard back to 3. I'm a crazy motherfucker. And then, I think Charge of Life Brigade is coming to 3. I think it's been a long time. I think Infernoids need a little bit of a push so that they can be somewhat good in the next meta. Um, and, I said Gate too. And obviously, Light Swords aren't going to do anything. They're, they're horrible. They're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, well, that was our thoughts on the ban list. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll be back to you later with future videos. This is Parker Lad, Neo Dark Guy, and Shadowbox. We'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Face up, heads!